kind of person that can just plop down in a recliner and... Well, I cannot. And I'm a little envious of you if you can. You know, sleep is so important if we want optimal health. So why is it so hard to sleep, especially as you get older? Today, I have 10 hacks on how to sleep better. Maybe they won't all work for you. Maybe you've already tried them. Maybe you have some I don't mention. So please leave in the comments anything that might help the rest of us because who doesn't need a few more Z's? So before we get started on the sleep hacks, let's talk about three things that can really hinder sleep. Number one is too much food too late at night. Stop eating at a certain hour because as your body is digesting all that food, you get hot and when we're hot, we don't sleep as well. Number two is too many stimulants. I don't have caffeine after two. Some of you can drink coffee and go right to bed, but too many stimulants during the day and all day and too late at night can affect sleep. Number three is blue screens. Now we all know that that can disrupt melatonin production and we should get off our phones and turn off the TV at a certain hour so that we can sleep. But what about all those devices in our bedrooms like sound machines and air purifiers? They come with these night lights. Do I need a night light? I'm not a toddler. So I take black electrical tape and I tape over those puppies. I have blackout curtains and blinds because about nine o'clock, it's time to go dark. One thing that works really well for me is to have a sleep routine. I have a wind down time in the evening and then I have a bedtime routine. These stacked on each other, especially the way my brain works, really helps me to sort of let go of the day and redirect my focus on what I need to do, and that is go to sleep and just let the world do its thing. I'm out. Part of that wind down routine is changing into my jam jams. If I'm still dressed for the day, then in my brain, I'm still working. See, I'm an actress and I got that costume thing. I stay in character, baby. The second sleep hack is if you will take a hot bath or shower one hour before bed, this causes our bodies to do a heat dump. Now, it sounds counterintuitive, but what happens if we do it an hour before, our bodies cool way down, making it easier to fall asleep. A sauna will work for this as well, especially if you have an infrared light. Number three, get a quality, comfy mattress and the right pillow. Is it important? Well, yeah, you spend a third of your life in bed. Would you have an uncomfortable couch? You know how many hours you stay on the couch, right? So yeah, it's important. Oh yeah, and quality linens makes a difference. Number four is Manuka honey from New Zealand. It's said to help sleep. Also, all kinds of natural supplements like GABA, melatonin, valerian, I'm sure there's more. I use Sleep Calm. I will link it in the description. I get it from Amazon. It's about 10 bucks a box and it doesn't hang me over. I don't wake up feeling awful. And so it's pretty lightweight and sometimes I can override it and it doesn't help me sleep, but more than not, it does help me to relax with no hangover. And it is melatonin free. I just can't seem to take that stuff. And number five, keep it cold. I keep it so cold, my hubs has icicles hanging from his eyebrows. Any ladies out there? Woo woo! Number six is if you are stressing about a situation and you're ruminating, playing something over like a broken record and nothing ever gets solved, it's good if you can change your focus. Maybe get up and write it down so that it's in black and white. You can let the day go and just say, you know, there's nothing I can do about this. It'll be there tomorrow. I'll pray about it. I'll meditate on it. Try to problem solve if I can. I'm just letting this go. Number seven, we've already covered. It's about keeping your room dark. Now, we talked about blinds and blackout curtains, but one thing I resorted to was purchasing off Amazon a roll of tinted window cover. It sort of has self-adhesive. It sort of sticks just by itself. And it's kind of like putting a screen on a phone. You have to get the bubbles out, but it does an amazing job of keeping the room dark. 
Number eight, I would suggest for light sleepers like myself, a sound machine. Do your research. They have pink noise, brown noise, white noise, whatever kind of noise. And it blocks out sound. And I've gotten so used to it that I have to take it with me when I travel. Another option is to hop on over to YouTube. They have a couple of free things. You can do some sleep frequency music. Listen to that uh, 30 minutes to an hour before you go to sleep. And it puts our bodies into a parasympathetic mode. So my favorite is called Deepest Healing Sleep, and I'll leave a link in the description. You guys ever seen an ancient outhouse? Some of you city slickers may have never seen one. You've heard of it. This thing has probably been here since the 50s or 60s. Ew. Now it is a home to armadillos. As my granddaughter Teddy would say, let's go chase some dittos. Number nine, and I hope you stick around for 10 because it's my very favorite. Number nine is herbal teas. I discovered these, oh my gosh. I thought, what is the hype about herbal teas? Some have caffeine, some do not, so some I can drink all the way up to bedtime. I love chamomile. And listen, if you're gonna do your teas and it helps lose weight, helps sleep, helps a lot of things, but if you're gonna do tea, make it convenient or you won't do it. So I have an electric tea kettle. It's the best thing I ever purchased. I think I got mine for 20 bucks on Amazon. That thing, I use it all the time. So have a favorite mug, get a favorite teacup, and make a ritual out of sipping herbal tea. It makes you feel full. So when I want something sweet, or I'm not really hungry, but psychologically I'm hungry, you ever had that? Well, herbal tea helps that. There's passion flower, lavender, night night tea there's sleepy time tea do your research and i think it might help you at least relax in the wind down phase i may even make a standalone video on tea that's how much i'm into it this stuff is so beneficial for so many things hey thanks for hanging in there this is number 10 my favorite castor oil packs no, you don't drink it. They don't even recommend that anymore. It's too harsh. But you can have a castor oil pack. You can make your own. You can order one on Amazon. You take organic cotton compress and put castor oil in there. It has to be organic and hexane free. And you put it on your liver. You can put it on your stomach. You can put it on your chest. You can put it anywhere you have pain and inflammation. That stuff knocks me out. It makes me sleep a deep sleep like I've never slept. That stuff is amazing. If I have a, a sore hand from, you know, doing the phone too much, I can put a little castor oil on there, massage it in, my pain's gone. I'm not saying it'll work for you, but give it a try. It helps me sleep. It can keep you regular. Castor oil is a thick carrier oil. It's very messy, so you have to figure that out. Also, put a heating pad. We have one of those packs that we just toss in the microwave, and we put that over. It helps it to work better. It really helps me relax and go to sleep. It's just a therapy that I enjoy and look forward to, and sometimes I sleep in it. This isn't about sleep, but it's an extra bonus about castor oil. I use castor oil to make my eyebrows and eyelashes grow. It does work. I also use it under my eye and as skincare now. My skin has never felt this good. I also put it in places where I have a bit of eczema. It helps that. It's just a, you know, it's just a great for everything. Pain, inflammation, whatever you need, castor oil will probably at least improve it. Thank you for joining me today here on Singing Nomad. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? I hope you all get some really good sleep tonight. Bye-bye. Now that we have all that negative talk out of the way, hey, there are so many cow patties out here.